Hi, in this tutorial video, you are going to learn the step-by-step -step process of creating navigation on your online store. So let's get started. The first and foremost question is what is a navigation? So navigation is a user interface element which allows online visitors to access the desired product or content on your online store. For example, you want to buy a laptop and you visit an online store selling laptops. Now to see which all laptops they have in stock, you will be clicking on the laptop element in the navigation and it will allow you as a user to see the desired product or content on that online store. The next question is, uh, what are the different levels of navigation? So there are maximum four levels of navigation, level one, level two, level three, and level four. Now you may be wondering, should we use all the four levels? No, ideally it is not recommended to have a very tall navigation. It, and it varies from business to business. So in case uh, your business uh, requires to have four uh, levels of navigation you can have four levels otherwise it is not recommended to have too many levels of navigation because that will make the user journey longer so because they have to do more clicks to see the desired content and that's where you may get an effect or an adverse effect on the conversions what all can you link with the navigation element so you can link a category page and product page which is quite understandable in addition to that you can also link content pages now what is a content page for example you have a about us page or a company profile page that can also be linked with the navigation in addition to that you can link blog articles as well as your contact us page with the navigation elements on your online store so so far we have understood what is a navigation its levels and what type of pages can be linked with a navigation. Now let's understand the process of creating the navigation. So this is a demonstration store which we'll be using today to understand the step-by-step -step process of uh, creating navigation. Now let's uh, quickly go to the seller panel of our online stores. This is the seller panel. Now to create navigation we have to click on my store in the left navigation and after that we have to click on navigation which will open the navigation interface now here on the top we have two buttons one is uh, add menu item and second is update navigation so this is to add a menu item and once you are done uh, adding the menu item or changing the sort order or changing the hierarchy that's where you have to click on update navigation now update navigation is a very important button because it implements the changes which you are making on this interface unless you have clicked on update navigation any change which you have made irrespective whether you have added a new navigation item or you have changed the hierarchy or you have changed the order it will not get implemented or it will not be visible on the front end unless you have clicked on update navigation so this is where you are implementing the change on your online store so let's quickly understand how to add the navigation element for that we will be clicking on add menu item which will open this uh, overlay on this overlay the very first thing that we have to do is to write the menu name and then we have to decide what type of content we would want to show so for example we want to create a navigation called women fashion so we have typed women fashion here and it is obviously a product so this is where we can select category so in case you have added category to the products in that case you can select the category now how do you select the category for that i will quickly open the seller panel on another tab so that i can show you so we'll quickly go to category and this is where I'll edit this product. And here you can see I've added the category as handbag. So you can add a new category or you can change the category depending on your requirement. Now let's go back to the interface. Second is uh, brand. So if you have added a brand, you can select that. Then you have tags. So tags can be created and assigned to the product and tags also allow you to show the same product in multiple categories so for example you 
sell gaming laptops so in that case you will want to show the gaming laptop that you have in laptop category as well as in gaming products category so you can add gaming as a tag and laptop as a tag and then you can assign the respective tab so in the laptop category you will assign the laptop tag and in the gaming products category you will use the gaming tag and the same product will be visible in two navigations all right so for today's demonstration we'll simply use category so it is a women fashion that's where we'll use a handbag and we will use women t-shirt so two categories we are assigning so the products from two separate categories which we have assigned to the product will be displayed in this navigation element and you can use category and brand but don't confuse the system so if you are using category and brand that is okay so you can have uh, products from particular category from particular brand that is okay but when you are using tags and category that's where system may get confused because the same tag may be applied in different products uh, from different categories so system might get confused so use category and brand together and then you have tags and then you have products so use either category and brand together or just use tags or just use products which is you are manually defining these other products that i would want to show in this category all right last is uh, for blocks which is not relevant in this case and we'll click on save and then we will click on update navigation so that i can show it to you on the front end so i'll quickly refresh it here and here you can see women fashion is created now if i click on it products from two categories now let's uh, go back and we'll click on add menu item and this time let's add a category to women fashion let's add handbags and again product and this time we'll select handbag now instead of uh, selecting handbag let's select the product directly so we'll select uh, handbag directly from here and we'll click on save so handbag is created however it is at the same level right so you can see when fashion and handbag they are the same level now to change the hierarchy to make handbag a sub category or sub element level 2 in the navigation we have to drag it uh, towards the right side you can see i'm dragging it and you'll see it will take its position now we'll click on update navigation and once again we'll go to the front end we'll refresh and now we have handbag if i click on it it will directly open the product now why has it directly opened the product whereas in women fashion it has uh, open a category page because in handbag we just have one product that's why it is directly opening the product page if you have more than one product uh, assigned to a navigation in that case it will open a category page all right so let's uh, go back let's add uh, one more navigation element a subcategory called women t-shirt and this time let's use the category women t-shirt and we'll click on save and again we'll drag it to right to make it a sub uh, category of uh, women fashion click on update let's go to the front end once more and you can see the categories are created so this is how we have seen that you can create navigation for products or category pages now let's quickly understand how you can create it for content pages for example if you have a company profile page or about us page how can you link that so for that again we will be clicking on add menu item overlay opens up now this time instead of selecting product we'll select page and we'll give it a name company profile and from this drop down we have to select the page so we have the company profile page so a prerequisite obviously is to create the page now in case you are not sure from where you can create the pages so it is very simple i'll quickly switch the tab and here again in the left navigation you have to click on my store and then you have to click on page and this is uh, where this interface will open up and you have to click on add page and then add the content here once you are done 
click on status enable and click on save and the page gets created and once the page is created it will start appearing in this drop down so we have to just select the page from here and then we have to click on save and the company profile page is created now again we have to click on update navigation to implement this change and we'll go to the front end once again to see and now company profile has started appearing now this is where our, our company profile is a second element now if we want to place it alongside home and then women fashion should come how do we do that so we can just simply drag it to the top and now again clicking on update navigation and you will see the sort order is changed so now we have company profile followed by women fashion so that's how you can change the sort order let's add one more element so for example you want to add contact us so in that case again you'll type contact us select pages from the drop down you have contact us and enabled click on save and it is added again update navigation and it should start appearing here so now we also have contact us now if uh, a user clicks on contact us they are redirected to the contact us page on your online store so that's how you can link your content pages now you can also link your blog articles so if you have blog articles you can select them from here you can select the blog articles if you want to showcase all your blogs you can do that or if you want to showcase from a particular topic you can also do that in addition to that you also have an option to uh, link testimonials so if you have testimonials on your online store you can link them and then you have external links so if you want to redirect your users to an external link you can also do that and last is these elements so these are like uh, non-clickable elements that you can create so for example you can you want to create a, a navigation called products which should not be clickable but anything which is under it should be clickable let me show you how it works so we have products and it is enabled and it is none so we have uh, okay product is uh, So I have changed it to our product. Product is a reserved uh, keyword, so you can't use it. So I have uh, created our products as a navigation element. We'll just move it up and uh, we want to position it uh, here. And we want to make uh, women fashion as a subcategory. So I'll just drag it a uh, little bit. It may fly off the screen. Don't worry, nothing wrong has happened. You have to click on update navigation now you have women fashion which is a subcategory of our product and then you have handbags and women so you don't have to worry anything you have to just drag it uh, towards the right so the change is made let's click on update navigation once again to implement this change and now we'll go to the front end to see how it is appearing so now we have company profile our product now you can see even if i try i can't click on uh, our products and women fashion ha is now a level two category now, if I click on the plus sign, that's where I can see handbags and women t-shirt, which are level three, right? So that's how you can create or set up navigation. Now, there is one more additional information we should add or you should add when you're creating navigation, which is the SEO related information. So I'll just quickly click on edit. Let's uh, edit this one so that I can show you. So if you click on advanced, that's where you have an option to write a brief uh, description. But most importantly, this is where you have the SEO related fields, meta title, keyword and description. So this is where you can come and you can input the meta information, which is used for search engine optimization perspective. In addition to that, you also get an option to add a menu image, menu icon and menu bar. So if you want to use these features, you can do that. So this is how you can set up navigation on your online store. Thank you for watching the video. I hope uh, you found this video informative.